measuring tape? And I go, what? So she didn't remove your sew-in and like, it just, wow, why? Author in the speaker, master style is using every gift I got to teach ya. Just wanna reach ya, but life change your motivation. This is key. You can look wealthy, but know the greater is he. It's my quarter base. Hey, it's Marquetta Breslin, and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I get all the time. And it's about how to make sure your wig fits properly every time. And really, this the answer can be both for the consumer and for the person that is installing the wig if it's not the consumer. So um, I'm just going to start by sharing a story with you. So I'm at my salon. A lot of people don't know that I used to have a brick and mortar salon. It was a private salon where people who a lot of people who suffer from hair loss would come because it was private. And that's where I would do my thing. And so I had a young lady come in one day and she just could not understand why her wig was so big. And it was big. Her circumference, I believe, was somewhere around a 21, 21 and a half. But the wig was about a 22, 23. OK, so that's a lot. That's a big difference. So I began to sit her down and ask her some questions. And one of the questions that I asked her was, how how were your measurements taken? What happened? Take me through the process because I was trying to understand what the stylist did. And the first thing she says is I go in, I sit down, my sewing is still in and she takes out the measuring tape and I go, what? So she didn't remove your sewing and like it just, wow, why? So here's the thing. If you're going to take measurements with the full sewing in, you better put that wig on with that full sewing in too, because however you take the measurements for the wig, for the mold, for the cap, for whatever it is you're going to do, that is the same way that hair needs to be prepared for the fitting and for the wear of the wig. So her hair should not have been in a sew-in. Her hair should have been prepared either cornrow down or whatever she was going to do so that when the wig came in, it would actually fit. That sewing created too much bulk. So to put this into a different perspective or a different light, let's say you're starting from scratch. I have several of my students who make wigs from scratch, from the ground up, and they don't use anything pre-made. But this goes for pre-made pieces too. If you're going to order a piece, you still need to make sure that that hair is prepared properly underneath the same way it's going to be worn when the actual finished product is worn. So let's say you have a client and you're going to make a full lace wig for this client. They come in, you take their measurements and make their mold. Now, the mold that I'm talking about is with the tape and the saran wrap and you're doing your thing and you're drawing it all out and all of that stuff, right? So they come in and you get to, you get to work. But the way you prep that hair, let's say you just decide to slick it back. I'm just gonna slick it back. And then you take the mold, you take the measurements, and then they come back in for you to fit the cap to make sure that the cap that you've constructed fits them properly. When they come back in for that cap fitting, and let's say this time you're like, mm, instead of slicking you back, I'm just gonna do some pin curls, okay? Then you put that cap on, guess what? That cap is not going to fit because the hair that slick back is tight to the, usually it's tight to the scalp. When you pin curl that hair, it's going to create a little bit of bulk. So that cap that you just created based off of what you did the first time is now going to be too small because you have bulk. All right. So you just have to make sure that if you slick that hair down for the mold and the measurements, you slick it down for the um, cap fitting and you slick it down for the wear of the wig as well. Now, is the hair going to grow? Of course, the hair is going to grow. You can't stop that. All right. But in essence, you want to make sure that whatever you do for that first thing, which it should not be with the sewing in cornrows, braids, well, cornrows, yes. But I mean, I'm not going to take my measurements for a wig with, a, with all this hair. Okay. You just don't do that. 
All right, so you wanna make sure that whatever you decide to do for that mold and measurement, you do the same thing throughout the entire process to ensure the wig fits properly every single time. All right, so that's it. It's simple, easy, but a lot of people, you'd be surprised how many people don't understand that. All right, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.